Hey, are you thinking about moving to Palmdale, California, but you just have a ton of questions? Well, in this video, I will attempt to answer some of those questions. Hey, welcome to Real Estate Happens, the very first and longest running real estate show on the web. I'm John McQuilkin. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's get right on into it. So perhaps you live in Los Angeles and you're priced out of the Los Angeles real estate market and you're contemplating should you move to Palmdale, but perhaps you've heard a lot of bad things about Palmdale in the past. Well, let's talk about some of the good things about Palmdale to help you reach a better decision as to whether Palmdale is right for you or wrong for you. Okay, first of all, Palmdale is very affordable. It is 49.9% less expensive than any other California city. Groceries cost less in Palmdale and healthcare costs less in Palmdale. Housing, as I said, is less expensive, but that also applies to rents. The rent in Palmdale, although it has gone up significantly, is still way less expensive than rent in Los Angeles. Now, if you have kids, Palmdale is a very good place to raise a family. It's very family friendly. There are plenty of parks with a lot of baseball leagues and there's always something going on. There's skateboard parks, a nice water park. Whatever you are looking to do with your family, you can find a park to accommodate that interest here in Palmdale. And again, Hollywood Los Angeles has parks as well. But guess what? They're always crowded. Good luck trying to get a picnic table at a park in Los Angeles. Whereas in Palmdale, there are plenty of picnic tables where you can have a beautiful picnic with your family while your kids are playing, doing basketball, baseball, or perhaps in the skate park skating. So overall, Palmdale is a very family-friendly place to live. Um, schools. You may have heard that the schools in Palmdale are bad. Au contraire. The schools in Palmdale are actually top rated. And I know people who have gone to school in Los Angeles and they now go to school in Palmdale and they say that they prefer their schools in Palmdale and they prefer their teachers in Palmdale as to, um, over their teachers in the Los Angeles um, area. So again, the schools in Palmdale, not as bad as you may have heard. Is Palmdale safe? Well, that's all relative, but it's not as bad as you may think. Palmdale is the 33rd um, safest city in California, which puts it in the top 10% of safe cities in California. However, violent crime is 10% above the national average. It's still not as bad as you might think because the violent crime typically takes place in the areas of Palmdale that are not quite as nice. So as long as you stay out of those areas, I don't think you're gonna be a victim of violent crime. Okay, um, friendly people. I was just amazed when I first moved to the Antelope Valley how friendly and neighborly the people in the Antelope Valley are. So if you live in Los Angeles and perhaps you've lived there for 10 years and you don't even know your neighbors, that's not gonna happen when you move to Palmdale. You're gonna know your neighbors. There are block parties going on. It's just a wonderful place to live. Um, and like I said, very friendly people. Now, you might have heard that Palmdale gets hot and guess what, it does. But it's, it's not as bad as you might think. There are only 35 days a year when the temperature gets over 100 degrees. Now, if you're familiar with Palm Springs, you know that Palm Springs in the summer is completely unbearable. But mostly in the summer, the temperature is bearable. There's only 35 days when it gets above 100 degrees. And as usually, as long as it's 108 and less, I'm okay with that. Okay, the winters do get cold though, and it does get windy in Palmdale. But as long as it's a gentle breeze, like right now, the winds are blowing around eight or nine miles per hour, that's not so bad because it keeps you cool. But we do get really heavy winds um, on a regular basis. So keep that in mind. Um, it does snow occasionally, um, but mostly just about one inch a year. And annual rainfall in Palmdale is about 8.3 inches a year. So not a lot of rain um, in Palmdale, but Palmdale is part of the high desert and the desert typically does not get a lot of rain. Now, if you're young and you're moving to Palmdale because uh, you're thinking there's gonna be a lot of nightlife, well, think again. Palmdale does have some sports bars and um, uh, some, some live bands that play every night at certain bars in Palmdale. But other than that, 
there's not a lot of nightlife in Palmdale. So if you're looking for the kind of stuff that you'd find along the Sunset Strip, you're gonna have to travel to the Sunset Strip to find those types of nightclubs. But if you're done with all that and you're ready to settle down, then Palmdale might be just right for you. Because guess what? We have great restaurants in Palmdale, great stores, plenty of shopping. There's a wonderful mall in Palmdale. And what I love most is there's plenty of parking. If you're from Los Angeles, you know how tough it can be driving around and around and around looking for a parking space. Not so much in Palmdale. There is plenty of parking wherever you go. Now, a, one bad thing about Palmdale is you'll probably have to commute because the job opportunities in Palmdale are not great unless you work in the um, healthcare profession or you're self-employed. But a lot of people that live in Palmdale do commute to Los Angeles. Um, and it is a long commute, right? It's at least 90 miles usually. It's gonna take you about an hour and a half, typically, to get from Palmdale to perhaps your destination um, in Los Angeles. But on the weekends when there's no traffic, you can get uh, to LA in no time at all. So it's kind of like a trade-off, right? Sure, you're gonna be commuting a little bit, but you're also gonna have this wonderful lifestyle, this wonderful house in Palmdale that you might not be able to find or afford in the Los Angeles area. So it's just something that you have to consider before moving to Palmdale. But yes, there is a commute. But other than that, I think the good outweighs the bad as far as moving to Palmdale. So if you think after hearing all this that Palmdale might be right for you, reach out to me, give me a call, text me or email me and we will get the conversation going to see whether or not Palmdale is right for you. Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to have another show for you real soon. I promise you that. So until then, take care, everybody. I'm John McQuilkin, and I'll see you in real estate.